Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to show you something a little bit different today. I'm putting my harmonic balancer on, and I wanted to show you because I've had a little bit of problems with this Opti Spark and harmonic balancer, and I'm a mechanic. A lot of people aren't mechanics and they're doing it themselves. So I'm going to show you a real quick look and heads up what's going on. I'm going to go and toss my safety glasses again under there. I don't want anything going up under my eye. Okay, here is the new harmonic balancer. There is the underdrive pulley in between BBK. There is the harmonic balancer. Now I don't want you to fret because in the balancer it only goes up to about right here and the rest of this will be showing. I kind of Yesterday was looking at it. I had it in and all the way in and I was freaking out because it didn't go all the way in to the flange You see? Well, if you look there's my balancer. If you see the silver part there That's as far as it goes in the rest part is rested Try to zoom in there for you See so it goes in about that much. So I'm going to show you the correct way how to put it in. The reason why I got rid of this one is because it was coming apart down there and separating from the back here. I don't like that. So I'm going to show you the correct way really quickly how to put this on. So I got my threaded rod all the way in there and I showed you previous videos of what you got to do with that threaded rod, what size you got to get, where to go get it, and all that. So, I'm going to put my wrench back on here. I'm going to make sure this is snug. And I'm going to continue pressing it. Now, don't worry. It's going to be tight. But as you can maybe see, it's going in. It's a good angle right there. I've already put some petroleum jelly on here. So as you see, it's starting to go in. I'm coming back and forth up here to the top. I'm tightening this as I put it back on. So I don't screw the threads up. And now when it gets tighter, instead of pulling from a huge distance, I'm going to now do little turns to get it on. So I don't strip it. As you can see, let me see if I get you a good angle. As you can see, it's starting to go in. Now I'm going to continue to tighten this bolt till it bottoms out, which is going to be about let's see, about somewhere right up in this area here is going to bottom out. So I got a little bit of ways to go, but you keep on pressing with this. The reason why you don't use the screw, the factory screw, and drive it in because it'll pull the heart, uh, the crank threads out. You don't want that. So um, this is a tool you have to do. You can also impact, but I'm taking my time and pulling it in so I can watch everything. Afterwards, the underdrive pulley is going to line up with the rest of the main accessory pulleys, and there should be like a fingertip, like about maybe that much in between the... Uh, Opti spark and the underdrive pulley. If you can see my finger up here, let me get this hose out of the way. So you can kind of see I'm not all the way pressed in, but it's got to go a little further. The gap. So everything here has to line up. Here was the original one, so I got a little bit more to press. Um, 
I'm getting there. I'm almost done. I'm about to put this joker back together. I figured I'd show you the harmonic balancer, how to install it, and finish this job. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. Like, and share, and subscribe. Have a great day.